Um, as I mentioned before, I'm a huge bookworm. So right now I'm reading this book by uh, Linda Welsh, and I've been reading it for a couple weeks. That usually is not the case with me with books. But she keeps bringing up so many good points and so many good ideas that I keep stopping to read them, or stop reading her book, and I'll go and research it on my own. Or she'll talk about it a different aspect of uh, a Norse goddess, and I'll have to do research on that on the computer. And it's just, it's making me, or making me more interested in the Norse pantheon. Even though I do consider myself an animist who just practices folk magic, I still really like the Norse pantheon. And um, I don't really work with any of the deities. I do love Frau Holish, not part of the Norse pantheon. But I don't worship her. I I honor her in a way, but I see it seems like in the Norse path that the the gods are more of our ancestors. They're our kin compared to a divine being that we must worship and offer all these different things to. It's just my interpretation. I don't know if uh, how many Norse uh, different groups of uh, like he or a Satru and. There's one that I can never pronounce, like Ermin something. I'm really bad at pronunciation. Okay, sorry for the the cutoff. I don't know how to make transitions and my you can keep getting dressed, it's okay. My little sister just got out of the bath, so she came in here to ask for jammies and she freaked out that the camera was on. Um and I totally lost what I was saying. But um so I see them more as like family and kin than um something to be worshipped. So um if I was to work with them more, I'd see them just as like it's sort of an ancestor worship compared to a like I devoted myself to this goddess and I have to only work with her and give her these things and ask for her and you just saw my little sister walk by and she's so cute. But um a lot of the people don't like the Norse Pantheon because they think it's too harsh or too strong. You could turn on the TV and um they see it as like a sexist religion because there's a tons of information on the male deities, but there's nothing really on female deities. Well, in this book, this one right here, that my mom got me for Yule and I absolutely love, Goddess of the North by Linda Welsh. Um, she goes into different folk tales and fairy tales, and she also kind of tries to pull the goddess out of the uh, giantesses that are talked about in the different sagas and all that to try and find out what the primordial Norse goddess is, and she does a fantastic job. I absolutely love this book. I'm going to reread it and reread it until I, like, I can recite it. And I keep recommending it, even on my face, my personal Facebook page, my Facebook fan page for my Etsy site, my Facebook page for Frau Holda. I, I just keep pushing it because it's 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 a badass book. It, that's, that's just it. I hope she writes more. Um, and I just want to make a video to show you how to do a little advertising for that book and to show that there is a lot more to the Norse pantheon and to the different Norse related pagan past than what um, what you think if you haven't studied them and um, I really want to open that up to people to the Norse pantheon I don't there's no really Norse groups in here in San Diego I mean some people will, like will invoke different Norse deities in ritual but they'd be like I'm calling on Odin and then the other the goddess they call on will be like Hecate, and I'm like, it doesn't. That just doesn't work in my eyes. It just does not. No offense to anybody who does that. If it works for you, it's totally cool. It doesn't work for me. Um, but uh, I haven't really been able to find any uh, like Satchu groups or any people who really identify as heathen here that I can learn anything from. I know there's some in LA because I have a friend here or a friend on my Facebook page that I see that I think she teaches classes. I know she makes things and she's pretty cool. And um, if I could drive, I'd go up there to these events, but I'm transit bound, which is totally fine. But um, yeah, and I'm, I'm probably, I just ordered, I got $100 in Amazon gift cards for Yule. So I just ordered a crap ton of nurse related books um, that I'm going to be reading. And it's probably as I read through them and learn more, I'm going to share it with you guys as well and recommend the books. I'll probably recommend a lot of books on here because I go through a lot of them, but I tend to read like five at a time. So it takes me a while to get through them. Plus, now that I'm doing the YouTube videos and I'm doing my Facebook and my meetup and I'm at school and work, I don't get through them as quickly as I used to when I was in high school and middle school, where I'd read like a book a day. So, kind of miss that. But um, there's so much more that I've been opened up to that I don't want to give up. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm about to do another video on um, right after this one on uh, books about folk magic. I have a couple that I wanted to share. So if you like this video, then you can stay tuned for my next one. Thanks.